In this video, we're going to talk about taking nootropic chemicals and putting them under your tongue. Okay, talking about nootropic chemicals and doing sublingual nootropics dosing, in the Smarter, Better, Faster book, which is a nootropics protocol book filled with strategies like what I'm about to give you guys, uh, we talk about a, a sublingual coloracetam nootropic strategy. Okay, coloracetam is, is one of the most impressive nootropics, racetams uh, nootropics that, that there is out there because it increases choline uptake, this thing called high affinity choline uptake uh, in neurons. So it, whereas other racetams might stimulate the extra release of acetylcholine in like the hippocampus or other regions of the brain, coloracetam just forces the brain to uh, uptake choline into neurons a lot better and quicker. But there's a strategy where we talk about sublingually dosing coloracetam in very particular quantities but you gotta get the smarter, better, faster book to check out the strategy. Get it at livecortex.com, get it for five bucks off using the coupon code five. Also run the special on our stack, which is a stack that basically like we asked a large quantity of, of folks that are nootropics enthusiasts, what do you want in a, a pre-made commercial stack? Virtually every one of them said, look, we want something close to phenylparacetam, close to modafinil. We want it to be noticeable. We don't want it to be subtle. We don't want to take it and be like, ah, is this placebo or not? We want to notice it. We want to get productivity out of it. And we want to get mental energy out of it. And so we we put our, I put my, you know, at the time it was six or so years of experience taking nootropics together into a pre-made stack called Cortex. Get it at livecortex.com. Um, use the coupon code five, get it for five bucks off. Okay, sublingually dosing racetams. Let's talk about sublingually dosing racetams. So uh, let me just let me just try to be as uh, uh, you know as as impactful as possible uh, and get right to the details. Number one, yes, you can sublingually dose racetams. You could definitely sublingually dose racetams, and in fact, it's totally awesome. Okay, uh, number two. The best strategy that I've come to learn about sublingually dosing racetams is to basically take 20 or so percent less of the racetam if you're going to you know, put it under your tongue. For those of you who are unfamiliar with sublingual dosing, it's basically you put particular nootropic powder under your tongue and you let it dissolve and enter your bloodstream. It's still gonna you know, go through your liver, you, you still have to process it and, and, and your, your liver will treat it as an outside invader and then excrete it via your urine, right? Like you do when you have like funny smelling peas because you take modafinil. Uh, but this is a way to get it much quicker to affect your brain by entering your bloodstream a lot quicker and bypassing effectively your digestive tract. Okay, uh, so do you wanna dose them in effectively 20% lower doses. So a good example, let's take oxyracetam, uh, aniracetam, and phenylparacetam. Okay, oxyracetam dose range is about, you know, we'll just stick with a thousand milligrams. That's kind of my sweet spot. I think it's a sweet spot for a lot of other people. If you're going to take sublingual oxyracetam, then you might want to just take it down to six or seven hundred milligrams. Okay, you know, it's a lot of powder, but this is why it's sort of good to do it also. First of all, you don't need the extra effects that you're taking sublingually. It's, it's basically more potent. But you don't want all that powder sitting there. Okay, aniracetam at 700 milligrams is sort of the normal dose range. Take it down to four or 500 milligrams if you're going to microdose it. Phenylparacetam, the dose range might be 50 to 200 milligrams. You know, if your sweet spot is around 150, just take 100 milligrams. If your sweet spot's somewhere around 200, you know, take something like 125. My sweet spot, frankly, on phenylparacetam is right around 80 milligrams. So I would take something like 50 milligrams sublingual phenylparacetam. Okay, so that's basically. Number two, take 20 or 30% less. You could use those guidelines and those dose recommendations and try to apply them to other racetams. Number three, for those of you that are gonna require a choline source with your racetams, because you know if, if, if you're taking a racetam, it's burning up extra acetylcholine and it's giving you some sort of side effect like a racetam headache, the infamous racetam headaches, uh, then I, I would not suggest taking your choline source sublingually either. You know, once you start doing that, you start throwing variables into the into the equation, like faster absorption of a biologically available acetylcholine precursor is going to lead to unpredictable effects, right? You, those you want to metabolize and those you just kind of want to take normally. Plus, if you're somebody that likes to take choline by tartrate, which is like what my strategy would be taking racetams, like I'd rather take a by tartrate because I don't want to, because look, I, I just want to get the effect of the racetam and have enough usable acetylcholine rather than getting an acute effect from a alpha GPC or CDP coin because those are acute effects. 
you're not gonna really notice the bitartrate, but you will provide the acetylcholine for the brain in, in some proportion. Uh, you don't wanna be putting like this massive quantity of powder uh, of choline bitartrate like under your tongue either, right? You just put aniracetam or oxyracetam and you, you, you let it dissolve. And now what, you're gonna spend the next five to 10 minutes like with some choline bitartrate or alpha GPC or whatever, just, just take the, the choline source. This is the third takeaway in regular capsule form orally. So take your racetam sublingually and then take your choline source orally. Number four, number four, people have questions about the time that you should wait and the most effective wait time. Now the most effective sort of dose strategy, sublingual dose strategy in racetams that I found over the years is to wait five to 10 minutes. I mean, you're actually gonna have to sit there for five to 10. You know, at, at minute number six, you could probably spit the stuff out you know, and let it dissolve and let it kind of do its thing. You know, you'll feel saliva working around the area and you'll, you'll notice that the powder becomes liquid and it sort of becomes less and less and it might taste less funky over time. And that's because it's actually absorbing into that vein there under your tongue and getting into your bloodstream. So minimally five minutes, if you really want to go all out, go for the whole 10 minutes. Um, and then it really doesn't matter at this point whether you swallow it or whether you spit it out. Frankly, I do not swallow sublingual racetams after they've sat there. I'll take some water, wash it out, and spit it out. So that's, that, that, that's the, the basic guidelines on sublingually dosing racetams. I think it's totally a great strategy. You know, I, 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 I like to do it to change it up every now and then. Uh, it's definitely more potent. The onset seems to be quicker a lot more pronounced. The effect duration mm, is sort of questionable. Anecdotally, it does seem to last a little bit longer for me doing it that way. Uh, your mileage is going to vary. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching. But if you want to take your brain game to the next level, you want to increase your focus, your verbal fluency, your mental energy, your ability to sit down and crank out work for hours at a time, secure a bottle of the Cortex Nootropic stack. Our customers are clear. This is the best pre-made stack on the planet. And hey, speaking of stacks, if you really want to take your nootropic stack game to the next level, secure the Smarter, Better, Faster book. This is a surgical guide to using nootropics for total mental dominance. You talk about stacks, we got stacks in there. Endless amounts of stacks, power stacks, verbal fluency stacks, working memory stacks. We've got modafinil strategies and everything else you can think of to include a whole sector on nootropics questions answered. Smarter, Better, Faster, the most powerful nootropics guide on the planet livecortex.com. That's livecortex.com. We'll see you over there.